All right, everybody. Um, this is the video for the mise en place. Uh, what you got in your bag was a chicken breast. Um, what do we have in here? Chicken breast, bacon. This is a mix of uh, ricotta cheese, eggs, and uh, queso fresco. So it's kind of thick. And then I put some rosemary, or I think I put rosemary in the bags, or no, we just added rosemary from the classroom. So I put a little bit of salt, pepper in my filling, um, and then you can put herbs, whatever you have at home. It's kind of up to you. But make sure you season it, because it's just basically cheese with eggs in it. Um, the reason we put the egg in is it in it is it so it um, firms up when it cooks. Okay, so in your bag you're gonna have potato. I'm gonna grab another potato. We got potato, broccoli, the filling, bacon, and chicken. So the first thing I want you guys to do, your prep, the only thing you're cooking today is you're gonna blanch this potato, or you're gonna, yeah, pretty much blanch the potato, which means you're gonna pre-cook it. Because typically these will take over an hour in the oven roasted, but we're gonna cheat and boil it first. So I got my water boiling. You wanna add some salt to the water, so a couple tablespoons to give it some flavor. And then you're gonna take your potato, cut it <clears throat> into edible size portion squares. So like, make sure they're kind of uniform. And then put it straight into that water, okay? You wanna boil this for six minutes. Okay, set your timer, boil for six minutes. Um, second, we're gonna take our broccoli, and you can see how these broccoli heads are kind of big. I wanna cut these down so they're all uniform in size. See how they're all starting to be about equal in size? Just make sure you cut them down so they're not cooking at different temperatures and times, okay? So put those back, those are ready. And then I'll show you how we're gonna do the chicken. Basically, to do the chicken, you're going to lay the chicken breast close to the edge of your board Trim it, if you have fat, you can cut the fat off. So basically I'm gonna show you with my knife um, on the outside. So you're gonna put the knife in parallel to the board, halfway in the middle of the chicken breast, and just slowly slice like this, okay? But inside. So what that's gonna do, and I'm doing it, you're going to make a pocket inside that chicken breast, but don't go through the middle, like don't pop out the side, just go carefully. And if you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it. Okay, um, and as you can see, I got this little pocket inside my chicken. So from here, I'm gonna take this cheese and stuff it in the chicken, like so. Okay, just use a spoon, um, it'll go in there. So you make this pocket like this, and you stuff that cheese down in there. Okay, see how that goes in real nice, and you can see it kind of bulging. So from here, we're just gonna let it sit. Um, I gave you guys two pieces of bacon, and then what you're gonna do, take your bacon out, lay it flat like so, and then take your chicken and just lay it in there, all right? Cover it crisscross just like that um, and what I would do is just put this uh, on a plate or in a dish so it's ready to go um, you really do want to refrigerate this overnight I know you guys want to make this now uh, but what I would do is at least make this ahead of time let it refrigerate because this cheese is soft and you're gonna want it to get harder because if you cook it from a soft state um, the second this hits a pan that's hot, it's gonna melt the cheese and it's gonna ooze out. You want this all to be cold so that cheese is kind of in a solid state so it cooks a lot slower, all right? So, um, there's our mise en place thus far. You're just gonna have your chicken, your broccoli, and your potatoes. Uh, my potatoes have about three minutes left on them. And when um, they're done, basically all I want you guys to do 
So you're gonna leave this raw, put a lid on it. That's gonna be refrigerated. We're gonna boil these <clears throat> for that six minutes, drain out the water, and then put them in a cup, okay? Do not put a lid on it. Just let them steam inside that cup and leave them alone. They won't be cooked all the way through, but they're gonna be par cooked. So they're gonna be put, cooked partially. Um, that way you don't have to worry about roasting them for a full hour tomorrow. So let's see what time we got. All right, we've got about two minutes left on those. Yeah, they're getting there. And then I'll take a quick video of what they look like when it's done.